Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to make a GIF in Photoshop in 2023. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up Photoshop here and we want to start creating our project here. Now there are a few things that you should remember here is currently you have to basically determine how big your uh, project is. So for example, I have a 300 by 300 pixels with and height here and I want to use it. Now depending on what you set here, the process itself might take some time, especially with the assets that you'll be using. So make sure to optimize those videos or images that you'll be adding here. But for now, let's just click on create here. And once you've done that, it's going to open up another section here wherein we'll be able to do other things. Now, just to give you an idea, by default, this is what uh, Photoshop is going to look like. Now, all, well, we all know there are other applications that is especially made for videos. But for Photoshop, there's actually a mini video editor here. If you know, uh, if you know, if or if you're aware about it. So we need to do is go to Windows here. And from here, what we need to look for is going to be the timeline window. So go ahead and hit on it. And from here, you should be able to see this. Now for now, let's go ahead and click on create video timeline. And as you can see, we now have our timeline. Now by default, the timeline itself is going to be by layers. As you can see, this is the layer zero that we have right now. Now in this case, we want to start adding our assets here. So let's go ahead and look for assets here. And I want to use this specific video here. Now, again, depending on the assets that you'll be using, the process itself might take some time, especially with the rendering and the editing when, once we export it into GIF. Now, for example, let's go ahead and drag it into the layer, layer section here. And as you can see, this is now our video. Now, from here, what we need to do next is you can go ahead and just change the length of the video itself. Like, for example, you want to lessen it, you could go ahead and do that as well. But for now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go to files at the top left of your screen. And from here, you want to go ahead and go to export. Now, under export, look for the save for web, which is a legacy feature for Photoshop. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now, this might take some time, but in this case, is going to basically load up your video here. So again, this might take some time because this is a legacy feature. And sometimes in the future, it might be removed. But currently, in 2023, it is still available. Now, also, what we're doing right now is you could also create specific layers and basically frame them into your timeline if you want to create simple animations for your GIF. But in this case, we'll just use a video to make things a lot faster. But if you want to do that, you could do it as well. But for now, once it actually loads up, we need to change a few settings. So in this case, the for first setting that we need to change here is going to be the preset. So under preset, you have to ensure that you choose GIF 64 data here, but you could also choose other presets, but I do ref uh, prefer GIF 64 d here. Now from here, you could go ahead and change other sections here, like for example, the colors, data, diffusion, selective, but make sure that GIF is actually selected here. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and preview your video here. So just to give you the idea, I'm going to play the video here. So let's just click on play here. And once it actually plays, you'll be able to see how the video actually looks like. So this video is just a woman walking around or walking forward here. But uh, once you're done, go ahead and click on the save button there at the bottom left. And from here, what we need to do is we need to search for a location where we want to save our GIF. In this case, we want to save this into desktop. And from here, let's go ahead and click on save. Now in here, depending on the the amount or the quality of the images that you put here, it might take some time. So just wait for it to finish. But once it completes, you should be able to see a notification here that is that it is actually successful. Now you'll know that the process has completed once once it actually brings you back into this specific UI here. But for now, let's go ahead and exit this one. And from here, you should be able to see your exported GIF. In this case, let's go ahead and double click on it. And from here, you should be able to see your GIF.
Now again, if the process itself is not successful, then you might want to consider optimizing the video itself or changing the size of your current canvas here. Like what I did, I changed this to 300 by 300 pixels. And for the video itself, I actually cut some part of it so that I'll be able to basically export it into a GIF. Because sometimes there's going to be a notification that the process or there's not enough memory for the export process itself. But yeah, so that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.